Hello everyone, Mike Dragon here. And some time ago I have made a tutorial on how to make blinking eyes for pony player models as well as other types of player models using Pack Editor in Gmod. Because that tutorial is fully detailed, it turned out to be quite long, so for those of you who are already familiar with Pack, it is not exactly very practical. So for that reason, I am making this shorter version. This is going to go straight forward to the instructions you need, so hopefully it will be more practical. If you are not familiar with Pack Editor, you don't exactly know what you are doing, then I recommend you watch the original. There will be a link in the description, so you can find it more easily. So, without further ado, let's get started. First, align your character as straightforward as you can, and then open Pack. Click on Player, reset eye angles, so you will be straight forward, or if your character will not crumple down like mine does, you can T-pose. Mine does this, so I'm not going to use the, the T-pose. Alright, so, let me clear my pack here so we can start fresh. First of all, you will have your global group. You can create a, not another global group under this, if you wish, but I will not. So, let's just go to the, to the more important part. Uh, create a model under your preferred globe group. Okay, that is going to spawn a ball underneath your character. If it's a pony model, it's going to be under underneath your character. If it's not, then it's probably going to spawn on the head. Doesn't matter. Okay, now check translucent. Otherwise, the body can kind of glitch. And now we got to move this ball to the head. So, for the Pony Player model, the correct bone will be the All L Rig Skull, I think that's how you pronounce that. So, for that, for these points to appear, in case you don't know, you click here on this button, on Bone, they will appear, and then you will click on L Rig Skull. There we go, the ball now pop it to the head. Now what you need to do is to adjust the size of this ball so it's going to fit inside your character's head or if it's not a pony player model it has to fit the eye. Uh, at the end of the video I'm going to show in an example of what I'm talking about but for now let's stick with the pony player model just because it's the simplest. Okay, So you can adjust the position with these rods here if you wish or else you can just adjust the, the position on this field here where it says position, you can manually type in the numbers by double clicking and then you press enter to, to enter a number, like for example let's put number 1 here, enter, pop, you went to the front, or you can click and drag up or down on the axles so you can adjust the position. So you will be playing around with this for a little while, this might take, might take some time, okay you gotta find the position that better suits your character. For the pony player model, it can be somewhere around here, maybe here. <clears throat> okay. The thing is, this whole ball has to cover the eyes and not show outside the head, except for the eye area, which is around here. For that, you also need to play around with the size of the ball. 0.9 Let's see, let's try 0 0.9. And move it a little bit forward. Yes, that's better. And also the scale. As you can see here, scale. Okay. That changes the, that. Here, this, this is the size. 0 0.6, for example. No, that's too little. 0 0.8. That's still too little. 0 0.9. That's a little better. But anyway, I am not going to go over all of this. Uh, you have to figure out the the angle, the sorry, the position, the size, and the scale for yourself. Whatever best whatever better suits your character. But to save you time, if you are using a pony player model and you want to save time, uh, you can try the same numbers that I use for my pony player model. These numbers are the numbers I came up with when I made this for myself. So I will put them on the screen as well as in the description. So you can try them yourself and see if it works for you. But anyway, for me, the numbers are on position 
minus 5 no sorry minus 0 0.515 on the second axle that's gonna be minus 1.933 and on the third axle the position number is 0 0.184 there we go it looks kinda weird because I messed around with the with the size and scale so let's let's fix that angles for whatever reason I change it to minus 90 well not a problem you can copy that <clears throat> uh, the size let's set to 0 0.9 that's already correct this scale let's see on the first axle we're gonna we're gonna put 0 0.9 on the second also 0 0.9 and on the third one 0 0.95 there we go and as you can see with the proper numbers and positioning the ball now fits the eyes and inside the head without poking out as, you, as we can see inside the head it's all in there okay now while we are still on the model, let's name this um, eyelids. Click here, double click here on name. Okay, you can you can rename it, so you will keep things organized. Right now, here on the field color, you can change the color of this ball so it will match the color of your characters of your character's skin. Um, in the case of my pony player model, that would be I believe his. Fur color is 205, no, 207 by 207, 207. Yes, that's right. 207, 207, 207. Though that looks a little, little off. It might be just the lighting of this map. Anyway, you do that by either double clicking on these numbers here in the field color and manually typing or clicking on this color box which will display the color selection color selector sorry and then you can manually type in the RGB values or you can pick them by dragging this course around to find the bad the color the bad, better suits your character or you can manually type in the YM YMCK I think that's the name yeah y, YMCK value he down here anyway let's let me fix this back to 207, 207, 207 which is my characters alright and I believe we are done with the eyelids which is um, <clears throat> well it's gonna be the eyelids just the ball model now the next thing you gotta do is you will right click here on the model right you're gonna go here on clip sorry model now you're gonna here on clip you're gonna come here and clip, yes. There we go. Now as you can see the eyelids already kind of look like eyelids, sort of. Has this sort of lazy look, lazy look on his eyes. That's kind of neat actually. If you drag the this red for example, this rod for example, not red, rod, up and down like this, you will see it is going to move. Right, so what you need is basically to move it up so none of that ball model shows. See, let's look in the inside the head. It's right there. Okay. So the next thing you gotta do after we adjust the position of the clip to where you think should work for your character is you will right click on the clip once more and you will come here on the model. Nope, sorry you use modifiers and you click on proxy okay now this again is gonna be basically a matter of adjusting the values as you see fit okay so just to save you time to save us all time I am going to just go to the more important thing more important stuff right so what you need to do is vari variable name click here on this button and select position as you can see the thing is already moving very slowly let's fix that 
Uh, the next thing you gotta change will be the minimum. Let's put five, and on the max, let's put minus three point five. That will make the eyelids go up and down all the way, so they close and open the eye fully. Depending on how you change these values, it will be how much the eyes will open or close. For example, if I put minus two, it just goes right about here. It will not close all the way down. And since I don't want that, that's not quite natural, I am going to keep it three minus 3.5. Okay, offset stays at zero, input multiplier ignore that beeping. I forgot my browser open, that was DeviantArt. <laughs> uh, input multiplier you keep at one, input divider you keep at one. POW you change to 500. And there we have it. That's it. That's basically all you need. As you can see, the eyes blink more quickly, more naturally. They stay open for uh, so as long as they should stay. And ta da! Yeah, if we click here and pack exit, we can see the eyes are ready. Come on, blink. There we go. Oh, yes, that's good. Now, of course, oops, you gotta not, you must not forget to save the work you have done, right? You can also rename the, the global group, it's like let's say here. Uh, if I click that there on the global group and then double click your name, uh, let's put eyes. There we go. It's good for you to name things so you can keep things organized as much as possible. So you will not get lost as you add more th more stuff to the to your pack. Right. So don't th the important thing. Don't forget to save. You can either right click on the global group and save it, save it manually by coming here and saving a new file and giving it a name or you can save it as an auto load so you would load manually I mean automatically when you either join your listen server or a public server online uh, to do that you can come here and pack save you can either click here on new I mean auto load and you will replace your auto load file if you already have one or you can come here on new file and give it a new name. That's it. Then pack. Also, don't forget to, to wear it. If you are on line server, for example, and you make changes to your pack, you gotta click on pack, click on wear, and it, it will apply your pack so all players can see whatever you have done to your character. And that's it. Then you click on pack and then exit. And that's it. There's essentially everything you need to know to make blinking eyes for your player model, either a pony or whatever you might be using. I hope these instructions have been useful for you, so if they have, a like would be very much appreciated. Thank you so much for watching, and I hope to see you guys next time. Bye bye! Exactly what you do The odds are stacked quite poorly